This is China. To its south, there is a vast body of water which is referred to as South China Sea. In the year 1947, China published a map wherein it drew a nine-dash line around the sea. It then asserted that all of the area within these nine-dash line is under its sovereign powers. China then began to occupy the island in the South China Sea and displace the armies of other neighboring countries. It built air bases and started to patrol the area with its army. As a consequence, the neighboring countries which include Philippines, Malaysia and Vietnam started to question the validity of Nine Dash Line claim of China. And thus the dispute began. This dispute raises one important question. How much of the sea belongs to a country? This question was answered in 1982 in the form of an international instrument called UNCLOS. As per UNCLOS, every country has territorial sovereignty over the sea up to 12 nautical miles. According to this rule, China's territorial sovereignty over South China Sea would be only up till this line. Even China's exclusive economic zone would extend only till here. However, China states that it has historical claim over the sea and hence is exempted from the general rule of 12 nautical miles. In order to settle this dispute, Philippines approached the Permanent Court of Arbitration or PCA which is seated in Netherlands. After long hearings, PCA ruled that China's Nine Dash Line has no legal basis. Its historical claim was denied and the portions of the sea which lawfully belonged to Philippines was restored to it. This dispute also raises different questions pertaining to sovereignty over the islands and environmental pollution. Although these issues are not decided by PCA, its decision is definitely a game changer. Lastly, there are two reasons as to why this dispute is very important for many countries. Firstly, any instability in this area can affect maritime commerce. Secondly, the one in control over the sea can control the trade and also have strategic advantage during war. Thank you so much for listening. Stay tuned with Lopith.